The Problem Solvers is an animated TV show with atrocious artwork that first aired in 2011. When I found a screenshot of it while casually browsing on Google Images, I first thought it was a horrible collection of OCs that some kid drew on DeviantArt. And to my dismay, upon further research, I found that this art actually belonged to a show that aired on Cartoon Network an actual television channel. Now I know many people have talked about this show and its terrible artwork and overall mediocre stories before, but today I want to take a real close look at why the art specifically fails on every level. Why does everything make your eyes bleed? What elements make it so nauseating? Why does the art style look so ugly? I want to show you my full analysis of why this television show is so hideous, and hopefully in the future we can avoid ever making something this visually sickening ever again. Probably one of the first things that strikes you when you look at these clips are the colors. Many of the scenes are full of clashing neon hues. Alongside these are seizure-inducing flashing symbols. It's pretty obvious why most people consider this show unwatchable. There seems to be no thought put into the combination of these colors either. It's like someone just chose these colors at random and thought they would look good if they added enough of them. The textures in this show I can only describe as bizarre. Throughout each frame, you can find all kinds of unusual texture choices for certain objects and areas. For some reason, they include a lot of random pixel art, but most of the time it looks like this pixel art has been compressed and stretched, which just makes it look a lot worse than it should. In other areas, they use the same brick wall for almost every single building. And probably the most prominent example of this is when they use these horrible color gradients wherever they feel like it. One of the main reasons all of this looks so bad is that none of it really fits. Everything in this show looks like it was made out of clip art. It looks like someone took a bunch of random pictures off of Google Images and slapped them onto each other. In fact, there are several instances of stock images being combined with the drawings in the show, but of course this does not make the art style any more interesting, it just makes it more cluttered. <laughs> The character designs are probably the only thing in this show that you can look at without your eyes watering. If you take a picture of the main three characters sitting with a plain background, it at least looks tolerable. By no means is it good, but it doesn't make you want to kill yourself. Probably one of the creepiest aspects of these character designs is the eyes. For some reason, I guess the designers thought it would be a good idea to make everyone look like they are the offspring of Pepe the Frog. Seriously, the eyes of these characters look like they belong to some sort of reptile. On top of this, you got these weird protruding lips, which just look kind of gross. Also, Alfei's nose makes me really uncomfortable. Sometimes it jiggles during the animation, and I don't know why they felt that was necessary. The anatomy of the characters is stiff and robotic. I guess for Roba, who apparently dresses up as a robot, this makes a little bit of sense. But for the other two characters, this just comes off as extremely unnatural. <laughs> This show is littered with all sorts of nonsensical perspectives. There's not that much to say about it other than it looks bad and kind of hurts your eyes at times. <laughs> Now we are going to get into the really interesting part of this. Everything before this point has been fairly obvious problems, but now we can dive deep into the details. This show's artwork is quite an intriguing thing to analyze, I'll give it that. It has this effect where the more you stare at any frame of the cartoon, the worse it gets. Just take this one frame for example. Notice how the tree in front is drawn traditionally, but the ones behind it are pixel art. Notice how the grass changes in color drastically from hill to hill, and I don't even know what is going on with the houses back there. Throughout this show, you can find all kinds of weird things like this, and if you have no life like me, you can have quite an entertaining time looking through it. <laughs> It's pretty obvious that the creators of this show were trying to go for some sort of wonky, bizarre, and chaotic world. The biggest problem is that they have no sense of how far you can go with this theme without repulsing your audience. Elements like bizarre character designs, bright colors, and unusual textures can be used to create a world that is visually interesting. But Problem Solvers takes these elements and overuses them to the point where it's unwatchable. This show is nothing but cluttered visuals. It's extreme sensory overload from beginning to end, and it probably gives you lasting brain damage. Anyway, my name is Solar Sands, and goodbye.